Hi everybody, welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So we're going to get into to the NBA action for October 30th. But before we do, I want to invite you to join so you have access to this VIP club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. So we're going to take a look at some of these games here. And what we need to do is look at the charts. So the first one we want to look at here is the Pelicans and the Clippers. Okay, so if you look at the Pelicans and the Clippers, you see the Pelicans are average up at the moment. You can see they are coming off of a win, and they are 4-2 and two over their last six games. That's including some of the preseason action. Uh, the Clippers are ice cold down. You see they have lost their last two and are 2-2 two and two over their last four. Um, if you look at the over-under, you can see right here the Pelicans over in their last six. Clippers under in their last four. This is an indication to pass on the over-under bet. Um, if you look here at the conference in prediction here, we have a 111-111 tie. Obviously, it can't be a 111-111 tie, but that shows how close it, uh, we believe this game is going to be. Confidence in prediction is 53%. Um, at the power rankings indicator chart, you can see the New Orleans was at 29. They dropped down to 24, while the Clippers were at 24, and they plummeted down to 13 just over the last day. Um, if you look at the volatility oscillator chart, you can see here that New Orleans is at minus two, which means they have not been stable. See, it's a trend downward. They have not been consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog status. So in the end here, though, I think this will be a quipper win at home. Tight game, you know, maybe four points or less, but I would pass on the over-under. Okay, we're going to look at Golden State here in Detroit. The Warriors are averaged down. You can see here they're coming off of a loss. By 29 points to Phoenix, 2-2 two two over their last four. Detroit dead status, you can see they have dropped their last four. Um, if you look at the over-under chart, you can see over for Golden State in the last six, over for Detroit in five out of the last six. A good indication that this will be a higher scoring game. If you look at the power rank indicator, you can see Detroit was at zero. Uh, they are now at plus four. While Golden State went from plus 15 up to plus 20, and they have been up and down. You can see they were at plus 24 as of October 21st. If you look at the volatility oscillator to see the stability factor, are they consistently performing? You can see that Detroit is consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog status. And considering that they have been underdogs and they've been losing, that's consistent. Not, not necessarily good in this case, but consistent. So in the end, though, I do like Golden State to win this one. It looks like a blowout game by, by at least 10 points. If you see the score predictor, 113 to 103, right along the lines with what I'm thinking, with confidence in prediction of 77%. So go with Golden State and a game going over the line. Okay, you can see there's some other games here that I'm not looking at. Um, quite a few games on tap. Next one we want to look at here is Houston and Phoenix. Houston comes in ice cold down. You can see that they are 1-1 one one in their last two and lost four out of their last five. While well, Phoenix is coming off of two straight wins. Uh, the last one by 29 over Golden State and the previous one by 17 over the Clippers. Um, if you look at the over-under chart, you can see here that um, Phoenix has been under in four of the last six, but over in two of the last three. Houston under in their last two and over in their previous two, the power rankings indicator, you can see Phoenix, a big upward swing from plus nine. You can see the chart here, plus nine, all the way up to plus 23. While Houston has also gone up from zero up to plus eight. If we look at the volatility oscillator, again, the stability factor means something with regards to betting. You can see Phoenix has been at, at a straight line here at zero, while Houston now is at plus three. So Houston has been more consistent. Um, the score predictor has Phoenix by a comfortable margin of 13 points with confidence of 62%. So in the end here, I don't think there's going to be much of a contest, really. I do like the Suns to win, perhaps by double digits, but I like this game to go under the line. And the last one we want to look at is Denver and Los Angeles. You can see Denver average up. They have won three out of their last four. Their only loss was to Portland by a 25-point margin, however. Uh, the Lakers dead stats. You can see they just can't win anything. They have losses across the board here. And they haven't been scoring points here that they've been involved in the games under the line in three out of the last four. 
actually four of the last five, while Denver has been involved in games over the line. Um, the score prediction has Phoenix by a wide margin by 18 points, 125 to 107, about 54% confidence in that prediction. If you look at this chart here, the power ranks indicator chart, Denver is on a downward trend from 25 down to 13, while the Lakers are from went from zero up to one. Okay, so the stability factor, this chart here, again, we always like to look at this chart here, and the Lakers are at minus one, so not consistently performing with regard to their favorite underdog status. Excuse me, that was Denver, not the Lakers. The Lakers are at plus two. In the end, though, the Nuggets are better at the moment. The Lakers just have nothing going in their uh, direction at the moment, so I like the Lakers to win, and I would avoid the over-under in this one. Okay, so there you have it. Those are the four games you wanted to look at for the NBA for October 30th. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.